What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 Showdown Live. So the other day, I was sitting there, doing nothing, absolutely nothing, uh, and I thought to myself, hey, uh, Cradle is kind of cool, so I wanted to make a team with it. And and then it hit me, I'm like, okay, alright, alright, what does Cradle do that, like, Gashadon can't? And I had an idea. You know, Rinyu Sun's going around, or as I like to call it, that team. It's the team that's just annihilating everything. Um, let me see if I still have it here. Uh, da, 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 da. So, yeah, standard sun here. So, you know, it's Assault Vest Groudon, uh, Zacian Crowned, uh, Life Orb, Charizard G-Max. We have Grimmsnarl, Incineroar, and a Gastrodon. I've essentially adjusted the team so it does better against the sun matchup. So in, in the Sun Mirror match, we have a little bit of an advantage. We have a Babiri Berry Cradley with Ancient Power, Giga Train, Earth Power, and Protect. And Storm Drain will protect us from Kyogre while also being able to hit Kyogre a lot harder than Cradley ever would. Uh, the defensive spread allows me to, I believe I get three shot by Precipice Blades, which is super nice because I should win the 1v1 uh, versus Groudon with like Giga Drain or, you know, Max Overgrowth. Uh, but the funny part is, because the other team tends to run Gastrodon, all of a sudden, they don't like Gastrodon that much. We're running a Cradley here, uh, because, you know, it's it's just like, you know, in, if we end up in, like, that situation where it's just, oh, our two big defensive Pokemon are just sitting there on the field, I win every time, so that's fun. Uh, we have an Assault Vest Groudon, where I lowered the attack and increased the speed, because at this point, I'm just being petty versus Sun. <laughs> I just want to be faster, so it's a little bit easier to win. Um... And yeah, uh, we have Life Orb Charizard G-Max, same set, except I'm running Solar Beam over um, Ancient Power. Uh, we have Zacian Crown with Behemoth Blade, Sacred Sword, and Play Rough, uh, and a special defensive set. We have Grim Snarl, but I've actually dropped Thunder Wave for Fake Out, because I found that Fake Out on lead with Charizard is actually super, super nice. Uh, while I do lose speed control, it's kind of whatever, because a lot of the time I'm going to be clicking Max Airstream, so... Uh, and we have a Lander's Therian, uh, which of course does phenomenally in the sun. We have Earthquake, Rock Slide, Sword, Stance, and Fly. Uh, you know, we intimidate the Zacian or the Groudon, and then all of a sudden things get really, really annoying when we have a plus two or plus four Landers behind screen. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to be using this on my main account. I'm at like 1487. I was messing around with it the other day, and it seemed pretty fun, so I figured I'd record a video with it. But yeah, uh, if you guys enjoy this at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And uh, let me know, what Pokemon do you think has a niche on Sun Teams? Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. I have played absolutely no warm-up games. Let's hope I don't embarrass myself on camera again. Uh, we face a pretty interesting team. We have Tapu Fini, Calyrex Shadow Rider, Thunderous, Rillaboom, Zacian, and Incineroar. Uh, obviously, you know, the Thunderous on these sort of teams with Calyrex Shadow Rider tends to be defiant because it just handles Incineroar so, so well. Uh, and, you know, they, they just don't want to, like, lose to Incineroar on lead because they let off Calyrex Shadow Rider. So, I think that, um, how good is the Charizard lead here? The Groudon lead isn't that bad, I just don't want to get, like, intimidated. Uh, I'm thinking Charizard lead isn't awful, especially if I lead off with... Grim Snarl, bring my Groudon, and I think my last one here. I don't want to bring the Cradley. I think I bring Zacian every time. As they do lead off with the um, Thunderous, that means that they were, you know, likely expecting me to lead off with uh, Landorus or something. Uh, but this isn't terrible. I think what I'm gonna do is, um, let's go for the, let's go for the Groudon play. And I'm going to try to get a Reflect off. It's likely I'm just going to get faked out and airstreamed into, but a Reflect is still super useful. I shouldn't get one shot here. As they just let me get the Reflect off. Awesome. Parting shot? That's fine. As long as I get the Reflect off, I'm pretty happy with this outcome. Uh, now a Light Screen doesn't seem too bad. I'll even get my Zacian in here, because they might want to bring the... They might want to bring the Incineroar back in. Uh, so let's get the Light Screen now. Yep. So I'm going to switch second. Get the Zacian in. Zacian simply does not care. They go for the Airstream into the Grim Snarl. It's whatever. It's literally whatever. I'm prone to getting faked out here. I think in this situation, I'm going to go ahead and just go right back into Groudon. <laughs> and uh, we can go for the Spirit Break on the Incineroar in case it decides to Parting Shot here or whatever. So they go for the Airstream into the Grim Snarl. That will knock me out. Let's see what they go for. 
I'm gonna see the Flare Bloods. Okay, it doesn't do too much. Oh, come on. Come on now. We're really gonna get burned there? That's a little annoying. Here, I am not terribly concerned with Thunderous anymore. Um, we should be able to do this. I'm gonna go for a Stone Edge into it, as well as a Max Airstream, and that should handle it, and then we're not in a terrible spot. But that's that's a little bit annoying. I got, I got burned off the Flare Blitz. Outplayed, outmaneuvered, outskilled with the burn. Okay, there's the airstream. That might just straight up knock it out, yeah. And does the Stone Edge crit KO? Nope. I'm gonna get Darkest Lariated, but I don't really mind. Honestly, I'm in a really, really good spot. I have a plus one speed Groudon. Uh, they've wasted their Dynamax. So I should be able to always go for my Max Wildfire here into a P-Blades, and it's like, whatever. Like, they can protect. They're not gonna like this. And I still have my Zacian in the back, so that's huge. I wonder if they're Shookaberry. Alright, cool. They let me get that off. Um, I should take whatever. Astro Barrage. Nice. And I have my Zacian behind screens, which is absolutely heat. They do have the potential to fake out me. Um, do I call that? I think they want to call the Protect. They're 16-19, so they're going to want to call the Protect on my Zacian here. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go for P-Blades, and I'm going to go for the... I should just Sacred Sword. <sighs> they don't call it. They don't call it. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think my play here is going to be to Protect. Let them get some more Wildfire damage. And then I have to go for a Behemoth Blade into their Zacian. No, because I'm going to drop to a Flare Blitz, aren't I? Yeah, let's just Sacred Sword. Hopefully we can eat the hit. 45%? Ah, that's going to be game. I'm going to lose here. Uh, unless they're like super, super slow and like me and like I, I just win the speed tie, we lose. Dang. Yeah, that burn on the ground on kind of sucked, but it's it's whatever. I think we're showing off like how well the team can function beyond that. Yeah, the burn just definitely screwed us over. We didn't get the damage we needed on the Incineroar. All right. Let's see. So I'm going to say here, uh, this might be like Tailwind Brutal Swing Aerodactyl. Does it get that? Yeah, it does get that. Does it also get Bulldoze? It does. So there are a few things it could be doing here. Uh, um, let me think. So Cradley does not go hard in this matchup. They could, I mean, but probably not. Charizard also does not go terribly hard. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and lead off with... I definitely want the Grim Snarl. I think that's just a given. Uh, and I think Landers isn't terrible. Yeah, so I can lead off like Grim Snarl, Lando... Maybe I just go Grimstar or Charizard, to be honest. I don't know if they want to bring the Aerodactyl. And if they do, I can just switch out into Groudon again. Yeah, let's do this. Um, so Grimstar, Charizard, Groudon. Do I want Lando or do I want Zacian here? I think Lando's pretty good. But Zacian's also just, like, always super useful. So we're going to go Zacian. Okay, so they did lead off with uh, the Aerodactyl. Like I said, I can just go into Groudon and... Probably going to get faked out on my Grimstar, but I can try to get a Reflect off. Yeah. So we'll do this. They're likely just going to Tailwind. It does get Tailwind, right? I haven't seen this thing in like years. It does. Cool. Oh, they're going to Dynamax. Okay. Well, uh, do I eat that? Well, I, I definitely eat that. Okay. Here, I am pretty certain I can just go for a Reflect. And I'm going to get in the Zacian here. Like, they're probably just going to Airstream or Grassy Glide or whatever. There's no chance they Quake me. Yep. And they went for the Wood Hammer, so... Pretty happy about that. Uh, let's go ahead and... Should be able to get the... Do I get the Groudon in there? I don't think I get the Groudon in there. It isn't really safe until the Dynamax is over to start doing things, I think. Because uh, I don't want to get Max Quaked, and I feel like if they're running Life Orb Aerodactyl, they gotta have Max Quake. Uh, let's go ahead and just get a, a light screen off, and I'll switch into Groudon. Because I really doubt they go for a Grass move into my guy. Yeah. Okay, so in comes the Zacian. Honestly, uh, I'm not 
concerned about a rock slide. Let's go for a behemoth blade and I'll get my Charizard in. They shouldn't rock slide here unless they're going for flinches. And at that point, I'll just be upset. Because, <laughs> like, you should, like, do something else, man. You should not do that. Please. Please. I'm begging you. Okay, they go Solgaleo, which is fine by me. I got the Charizard in. They go for the Grassy Glide, and it is time to be a nuisance. So Galio might have Rockfall, so I kind of have to target that first, and that's a little bit annoying, because I'm not Charty Berry. No, you know what? It doesn't have Rock Slide. It doesn't have Rock Slide. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bank on that. No Rock Slide. So let's deal with the Rillaboom here. It goes to the Woodhammer. I lose my Groudon. But as long as there's no rock slide, I'm happy. Alright, grand reveal. Wild charge. Okay, that's not great, but it's still not that bad. Because we have Charizard and Sun. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Aerodactyl should never take a wildfire, right? I should be able to wildfire into it this turn. Calyrex Shadow? Okay, well I can definitely wildfire into Calyrex Shadow here. Actually, uh, maybe I Airstream. How much did I take from the Wild Charge? 31%? I should eat the next one, so I'm going to double. Because Solgaleo may switch out. Um, and by doubling here, I get a speed boost on my Zacian. And I deal with the Sash. Come on, baby. Hit him with that Yoinky Splinky. He's thinking, he's like, man, how do I deal with this? Don't have Trick Room on your Solgaleo. Trick Room Solgaleo is cringe. Come on, man. You know what you should do? You should protect now. Okay. All right. So after Life Orb damage, I do lose my guy. Um, he doesn't have Earthquake, right? Secret Sword to you. Actually, maybe I just deal with the Aerodactyl first. I think I'm going to deal with the Aerodactyl first. Last thing I want is to get Bulldozed and then, like, one shot by Sunsteel Strike. We, we have, like, three turns of Reflect here, so I only need to hit it twice. And if it doesn't have, like, the damage output to deal with me, it's pretty nice. Alright. 38%. I should win unless he crits. Two Sacred Swords will do it. GG. Please don't crit me. I'll cry. Oh. Oh. Uh, that still doesn't do it for him unless he gets a double. He needs the double. Hey, let's go. Okay. Quick Claw? Show me the Quick Claw. Yeah, I forgot about Life Orb and Solar Power. I'm not terribly used to having to play Charizard. Uh, so I, have to, I still have to get used to it. I'm not, I'm not like a big Charizard fan, but it's been doing pretty well. Like, it's one of the best Pokemon in the format. All right, we're facing Sun, um, but it's not the Sun that we're used to seeing. This is uh, Eveldon. It's at times like this, I wish I had a Kiram, because it's just so free. <laughs> Kiram makes this matchup so free. Uh, creatively, actually, it might not be that bad, uh, the more I look at it. It eats hits up from this little dude. Uh, it doesn't care about anything that the Venusaur wants to go for. Uh, I actually don't hate Cradley. I really don't. It just doesn't do anything offensively, to be honest. Uh, let's see. I feel pretty good leading off uh, Grimmsnarl, Landorus. We'll bring the Zacian in the back, and why not? We'll go Cradley. Why not? Why not? Also, my opponent's having some issues with their internet, it looks like. Um, so, I, I guess I'll turn on the timer. Forfeit if you can't stay connected. Just do it. Just do it, bud. There we go. All right. Uh, so here, uh, I feel pretty good about... Definitely just want a light screen. Uh, I'm not concerned with what Regieleki wants to do. It's like always pretty... Like Lando always has like a good time versus it. I may actually... Bro, bro, get, get your internet sorted out. Get your internet sorted out. Okay. Uh, I'm going to max airstream into you. And I get a light screen off, which is so nice. So, so nice. There's the Zong. Foul play. Ooh, that did a lot. Uh, it should be a two-shot, though. I'm thinking here. 
here. Do I want the reflect? I think I want to go cradly. And I'll go for the rock fall onto you. I'll get a special defense boost and it should KO. In case he wants to TR. Cridley's about to be a nuisance. Yep, ETRs. Awesome. Got that good special defense. There's the Dawn. Uh, here, I'm going to get my... I'm going to switch out into my Grimmsnarl, I think. Like, where the Lando is. And we'll go for the Giga Drain. Because I can get a Reflect and then another... Um, and then, like, another little attack off. All right. Iron Defense. Ooh, you're going to be annoying. Don't be Weakness Policy. Cool. Uh, we're just going to go for the Protect, uh, Reflect. Yeah. Iron Defensing. I think I'll get my Lando in here now. I definitely need to get that, that Bronzong alone. Like, I need a, I definitely need to, like, Sacred Sword it. Uh, how do I do this? I mean, uh, maybe... Maybe go Lando where the Cradley is. Nah, let's just do this. The Iron Defense is again. That's good. Get a decent amount. Goes for the Quake. And here there's one turn left of Trick Room, so I should protect my Lando and my Cradley. I might Swords Dance here, to be honest. Do I Swords Dance here? I think it just Earthquake. It does the same. It does the same amount. Don't body press me. Oh, he body pressed me. Okay, he Swords Dance. That's fine. Oh, he's got a berry. Oh no. Oh no. Um, how do I do this? He's likely just gonna trick room again. But he hasn't protected yet, so maybe I just Man, kinda wish I swords danced. Okay. Let me cry. Let's go for the Giga Drain. I'm gonna get Grim Snarl in. Goes to the rock slide that shouldn't KO me. Oh, we get the crit. Cradley, you're crazy. You're crazy, dude. Go crazy, Cradley. Go crazy. All right. Um, actually, check this out. What I can do here is fake out the Bronzong and go for the Earth Power here. Not quite a one shot. Thunderbolt doesn't do it. And now I double attack the Regieleki. Because I need to get it to the Bronzong 2v1. I absolutely have to. Because Sacred Sword... I need to Sacred Sword it twice, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, we just double attack the Regieleki. He doesn't protect. That's huge. That's huge. Um, man, okay. Uh, Zacian shouldn't go down because we have Reflect. So I'm just going to Sacred Sword it. Sacred Sword. I'll get in the Lando... He body presses it. Okay, huge. Huge. Sacred Sword again. Go for the fake out. He doesn't have protect, so this is a win. Absolute win. No no self-respecting Bronzong player runs protect. Good game. Good game, sir. I know maybe, maybe Cradley needed that crit to win, but fellas, we're using the Cradley. Like, that's its passive ability. Like, that's just a rule. That's just a rule of running Cradley. You get the passive crits. Okay, no, this is the matchup that I want. This is the matchup that I want. If I lose this, I'm going to be sad because this is like the one thing that we're like trying to beat. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lead off Cradley. I'm going to lead off Cradley and hope that my opponent isn't running, <laughs> isn't running Charty Berry because I'd be so sad. Uh, and we'll go Grimmsnarl, Lando, and I think my last Mon... Uh, I can go Groudon. Groudon's not that bad in this matchup. Charizard's also pretty good, but I don't have any Restricteds, and I feel like Groudon's kind of objectively what I need here. The AV, the chance to Dynamax, the sheer, the, the sheer, like, sexual energy emanating from it. Like, yeah, like, I need that. 
Let's go for the Rockfall on the Zard. And, um, I can attempt a Light Screen. Pretty sure I'm not going to get it. I should run some speed on this Grim Snarl. I always get outsped in the fake out. Uh, let's go for the light screen. I'm probably not going to get it. Oh, I've been nanaed. He knew. Dang. <laughs> How out of luck am I? Um, not super out of luck. He probably doesn't know I'm Beery Berry. I mean, do I end my Dynamax early and just take that L? I think I just take that L. We'll reflect. And the Dynamax early in, in exchange for uh, an Intimidate here. I'm probably just going to get Behemoth Bladed. Okay, he Dynamaxes the Groudon, which is huge. Goes for... Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, and he's got, he's got that move. Come on. Come on, man. You're really going to do that to me? You got Shadow Claw on your Groudon? I'm so upset. I'm so sad. Okay. Um, Zacian doesn't do like any damage to me. I think I want to get Cradley in here where the Grim Snarl is because the fake out late game could be really nice. Dang. Just losing my Lando to one hit. Okay. Get a little defense drop there. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Grim Snarl out. I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain onto you. Actually, I think Earth Power might be better. Nah, 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 nah. I don't... I mean, I have the Babiri Berry and I'm behind a screen. I'm pretty sure I can take one hit. Even though, like, I'm at minus one defense. So I'm gonna Giga Drain. Oh yeah, that did, like, nothing. Okay. <laughs> We're at like half defense, dude. Uh, let's go for the fake out. And switching the Groudon, maybe. Goes to the P-Blades. Grim Snarl can eat that. Uh, here, I am going to just... Dude, I might Stone Edge the Zacian slot, expecting it to be Charizard. I think I do that. This is really risky. We've already lost if this doesn't... It, like, if... We've already lost, right? So I kind of have to, like, make one hard read and just hope for the best. Oh, good enough. Not, not, not actually that good, but good enough if I crit. Boom. Crit. Uh, we still have a few outs. We still have a few outs. Let me go for the Giga Drain into you. Prespice Blades. No, he's just gonna fake out. I'm gonna go Grim Snarl. Yeah, losing the Lando that early was really bad. And also, I definitely just... I got a little I got a little too crazy with my cradley. I was like, yeah, this is the play. Goes to the parting shot. Uh, give me all of my health back with another nasty cradley crit that I 100% have earned. Definitely. No? Yeah, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, let me think. I mean, I can fake out in Giga Drain and try to KO that thing. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, how screwed am I? Pretty screwed. Crit? <laughs> Alright. I die here. Getting the Grim Snarl. I mean, Behemoth Blade's not a bad play here. I can fake out now. Or not Behemoth Blade, Prespice Blades. Charizard can come in, obviously, but what are you going to do about it, you know? what What is there to do? Maybe he'll miss his Blast Burn. Heat Wave. That was a pretty good amount. We did it. We took one Pokemon. I'm so upset. I, I definitely got a little too excited with the Cradley. I will admit that. I got a little too excited with the Cradley. Um, yeah, that's game. GG.
Okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Okay, um, this would be an amazing cradly showcase if he wasn't turning off my abilities. But this still isn't that bad, to be honest. If I'm being real, this isn't, like, that bad. Um, Charizard speed ties at this guy, so Wildfire isn't off the table. Grimmsnarl still has Fake Out, which is kind of nice. Uh, I think I always have to lead off Zacian. Zacian, Grimmsnarl. Um, I'm going to bring the Cradley, and I think I have to bring Groudon. Okay. So I do have Fake Out here. Uh, they're likely not going to Dynamax, I think. And I should keep my Grimmsnarl here. I can probably get a light screen off. I'm pretty sure they're not going to Dynamax. Um, and they may protect the Weezing or just go for a burn. So I am going to try to get a light screen. Grimmsnarl without the rain. Like since they didn't lead off with this thing. It, it should always get it. Okay they do Dynamax. Okay cool. Okay that's unfortunate. <laughs> Forgot he has that option doesn't he. Um... Do, 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 do. Cradley can eat this hit. Let's go for a spirit break. Oh, apparently he can't. That's unfortunate. That's pretty unfortnite. Let me think. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to go Dawn. He's at minus one special attack. I'm, I'm going to Quake. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to get burned here. It's just an unfortunate thing in the, in the in the matchup, you know? That's just a thing that's going to happen here. Yep. That's why I have to double. He's got Shuka. Okay. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Go for the Quake here. Um, Spout shouldn't KO. I'm going to go for another Spirit Break. He's probably just going to Protect. Can you, can you, can you do your move? Alright, I survived that, that's great. Should go down now. However, I am taunted, which is a bit unfortunate. Okay. Uh, I don't think this is unwinnable. Pretty bad situation, but it's not unwinnable, obviously. There's the Tornadus. Uh, I think I always just Quake the Kyogre here and get in the Zacian. Do you have Rain Dance? He's got Rain Dance. Luckily I survived, which is huge. Uh, let's get the... Let's get the Grim in. No, I need screens to win in the endgame, don't I? Okay. How do I do this? I think I just go for the P-Blades and try to pick up a KO, and then I protect here. Goes to the spout, that's going to KO me. I can get the Grim Snarl in now, which is super nice. Um, I do have Fake Out. So I think rather than get the screen off this turn, I just Fake Out the Kyogre. Actually, is it Scarf, though? Let me think. Did it move before the Tornadus the first turn? Well, he used Prankster moves both times, so I can't really tell. Uh, This is such a tough call. I'm going to double the Tornadus. Grimmsnarl, please live. Thank you, Grimmsnarl. You're a good guy. You're a good guy, buddy. Okay. Uh, that's probably where the Sash was, so if Calyrex Shadow comes out, I should be able to do this. I get my light screen off. I'm pretty sure that's Scarf Ogre. Behemoth Blade. They both live. Astro Barrage, please one shot. Please one shot. Oh, that's where the Sash was. Okay, now that's game. That's game. No chance. I suppose I actually protect here, technically. Just in case the ogre wasn't Scarf. 
Oh, yo, he's got struggle. He was scarf. Okay. Uh, no, I have one. I have one correct thing to attack here. If I somehow survive this, I win. Did did I? I lost. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, that that was that, that that wasn't like the best matchup. We didn't really get to show off the cradle too much. Um, because you know we turned off the ability and i thought it would eat the hit i honestly thought it would eat the hit just because it's got good special offense but i was wrong uh i still think the team is pretty good i've been playing around with it like it got me from 1300 to 1500 yesterday so i'm like yeah it's, it's a decent team even if we didn't show it off too well i'm going to be using it in the next couple of uh days on my live stream so yeah uh if, if you weren't aware of how i actually structure my channel i usually do like Here's the team that I built, and then I use it on stream for the next week, and that's like where all the highlights are. So while we didn't do too great today, I'm pretty happy with how the team is. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.